What's going on, you guys? Manic Hack here on a tutorial on how to use your titanium backup and how to back up your your applications that you have installed. That way, if you install a new custom ROM, you don't have to like find all your apps again and try to reinstall them. So, um, well, the first thing you want to do is the first the first rule of installing a new custom ROM is the first step you should have taken is as soon as you root your phone or tablet or you know whatever you have. Yeah, um, you root it, and then you, as soon as you install the Clockwork Mode Recovery, you do a backup of your stock, your stock firmware. Reason why is because you want to have a safety ROM where you know where everything works and pretty much everything is, you know, where, how it's supposed to be. In case you install another ROM and it's not the corresponding ROM to your, to your device, or let's say it has some glitches, you just don't like it, you have something else to go back to. So it's very important you do a backup on your custom uh, or on your stock your stock ROM before you install any other custom ROMs. Now, uh, for Titanium backup, what I usually do is I use Titanium backup just to back up uh, my apps. I don't really use it to back up everything unless you want to back up everything like system data and all that stuff. Um, then I suggest just if you're trying to restore it, restore it to the same uh, to the same ROM that you backed it up from reason why is because sometimes the system data and some other apps here contradict with other ones from the other ROMs and you get glitches, you get some freeze ups and you get some boot loops sometimes. So but I just back up just the just the apps that I have installed from either from the from the Play Store or apps that I found online or something. Okay, so um, as you can see here I'm using a I'm using Titanium Backup Pro. This is the paid version. Um, the only difference between this one and the free version is that for I believe if you try to when you try to restore your applications you have to press OK after after each after each one it's you gotta OK it to make to to install. So with this one it's just you run it as a batch, hit it one time, one click, and then it installs everything for you. So let's get to this very quick backup restore. You see this is all your apps on this ROM. This is this by the way, this is a um this is a, a stock ROM. This is a, a 2.3.3. So this is a gingerbread version. Um, I was trying out another ROM for this, and uh, well, I just I just got back to this one just because it was pretty much empty. So, and I just installed these one here just for now to show you guys. So first thing to do, you install your titanium backup. So you go ahead and go into backup and restore. Hit the menu button. Run a uh, hit batch. Here you have backup and restoring a bunch of other stuff here down the bottom. But I'm not really going to go over that. I'm just going to go over the two main ones, just backup and restore. So here, backup you want to do is you have backup just your apps, and then you have backup just the system data files. And here is your backup both backup the apps and the system. So you're going to go ahead and run run the batch on the both apps and system data. And what I do here is, like I said, I just choose just the apps that I downloaded. So I want to hit deselect all, and I'm going to manually choose the ones that I want. So select them. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. Just keep going down the list. Okay. Um, for example, like if you know that there's a an application in this ROM or in your stock firm or whatever or whatever ROM you have that you know will not have any other one you can go ahead and save that one up too for example like YouTube I know YouTube um, or Google Mail sometimes not in some ROMs um, but let me see here I'm guessing just YouTube so oops I don't know what that is so as you can see um, I just I just backed I'm gonna back up these ones right here. So uh, once you choose your apps, you hit run the batch operation, and it's gonna back up everything that you that you have or that you selected. Okay. So once that's done, um, once that's done, oops. Once that's done, um, you can go ahead and flash your new custom ROM. In this case, I'm just gonna reflash my my backup that I have on this, and and then I'll sh and then I'll show you how to use the Titanium backup. So I'll be back. All right, so now that we're back here. You can see that um, I restored my stock firmware or my stock ROM here back to how I originally got it. So um, now, once you get to this, 
go ahead and go back into the Play Store and go ahead and download Titanium Backup. And um, once you're installed, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and restore all the applications that you just backed up. So if you're probably wondering, like, well, how's this gonna happen? I thought I just deleted all my files. Not necessarily. When you when you flash a custom ROM, you just delete your applications and your home screens and all that stuff, and it just goes to the theme of whatever the ROM has. You don't. It doesn't delete um, your SD card, which is your internal memory. So it doesn't delete that. So what Titanium Backup does is it backs up all the file the files that it has in, onto your internal memory card. The only way that will be deleted is if you try to, for example, unroot, or you try to if you try to flash like a um, a different firmware or sometimes even a kernel. I believe you can um, not necessarily a kernel. No, I I can still see a kernel in this thing. No, but. Definitely, if you try to unroot and try to flash into another stock, uh, well, see your ICS, you try to stock into back to gingerbread or something, then yeah, you're going to delete everything on your phone back to factory settings. So, but that way, that's why you do a backup to your computer before you do that. But, anyways, before I get off topic, so go ahead and download Titanium Backup um, and then open that up. And then we're going to go into Backup and Restore, open up your menu, run a batch. So, we're going to get into the Restore section. And then, as you can see here, it has restore missing apps with data. Basically, it just it restores everything but the ones that are all the apps that are not installed. Let's say you installed ten apps, and then three of the apps are already installed within the ROM. Then it won't install that to save time. But anyways, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on restore all apps with data. Um, now, what I do is in this case, um, since it's just like main, just like apps here that. Don't really take a don't really need like any system data on them. I just I just click on app only. The only reason why I say do a backup with app and data is because in case if you're if you're a big like gamer or like to play a lot of games on your phone, um, if you don't do the backup of an under data, then what happens is you lose all I guess whatever achievements you done on your games. For example, you you're playing a game and you're on level 15. If you just do a backup of just the app by itself and reinstall it in your other ROM that you just flashed, um, you won't. All that data will not be saved. So if you back up both of them, then what you do is you um, to just to make things go smoothly. I just suggest install the app only first, and then manually select um, which which apps you want the data to be restored on. Like for example, your games, like Facebook, and you know all this other stuff here. You don't really need that. Because it's just, it's, it's just, I mean, there's nothing, there's no safe settings on there, you know. And if there is, for example, screencast, I have certain settings on there, but, um, you know, check that. I don't want to mess up this video. Um, but, for example, screencast, but yeah, it's not that hard to do it again, you know. And plus, it's, it's more on a safety side. That way you don't have to um, take the risk of it, of some system data messing around with your, with your custom ROM. Your custom? <laughs> With your custom ROM, anyways. So, anyways, so just go ahead and just uh, run the batch, and it's gonna do this whole restoring thing. So once that restored, you pretty much have all the application you save. Like I said, if you have any games you want um, the data restored to, just go back to that and just click on data only, and then just pick the games that you want restored. So if you were on level 15 on this one game and your other ROM, so you'll be on level 15 on this ROM. So that'll be let me just show you guys very quick you go with that and just you know set up app only you go data only and then you just deselect all and then just manually choose which ones you want okay so then now that we have that installed you can see this all right here it's back installed um that's pretty much it for that this is pretty much a simple just you only need to use backup and restore if you want to get all the technical and all that stuff, just go. I mean, most of the commands there are pretty self explanatory, anyways. So, but if you want to get more in depth, I don't know everything about Titanium Backup, but I'm quite sure Google and YouTube have a lot of videos on that. So, um, this, oh, and I mentioned something about um, how to get an a APK file from the Play Store, copy and paste that to your SD card. Now, the first thing you're going to need is. Um, root, where you go? Root Explorer. Okay, 
you're going to allow that. What this does is this lets you copy and get into all system files, all hidden files, and it just shows you everything. Okay, just, just as a quick tip, um, if you're trying to get into the, for example, you, you download some applications from the Play Store, and it's just download, so, but where does it go, right? It just downloads it and installs it. Well, basically, it goes into, if you go into, a, if you have a regular file manager that doesn't, doesn't have any root access, this file, this folder here will not show, or maybe if it does, it will not show any of this, definitely, okay? But, so just, just for a heads up, just so you know, Play Store apps, go under data, under apps, and then this is where all the applications are installed, all the downloads. So you can easily just go hold it, and then copy it, and then paste it onto your SD card, and then just click back, and then find your SD card, and then paste it there. You know, pretty easy. Um, system apps, you, you find it under settings. So it'll be right here, under settings, under apps. And these are all the system apps that came with your ROM already installed. Now the thing with this, for example, if you have an application here that you really like, but you don't see it anywhere else, or you don't find it on the Google or on the Play Store. For example, there was a game, there was an application here, it was a car home, and I couldn't find anything like it on the Play Store. So what I did, I had to copy and paste, and then it wouldn't let me install my other ROM, because I had to change the, the permissions on it, but I'll go over that in another video or some other day, because it it'll probably just take too much time right now. So, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, that's how you use Titanium Backup. Um, so, and I'm using my Galaxy S2. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is my Galaxy S2. Okay, and I'm using Screencast. Oh, also, um, two apps that you really must consider, you probably know about them, uh, Snaps Market and Blackmore Alpha. These two apps are very, very good. This is where I got um, my Titanium Backup and my Screencast. Okay, so just then you guys know. I'm not going to post a link because it's pretty. you can find that on Google. Just type the name and it should be the first one thing there. So, and a heads up um, for you people who are just curious about rooting and just stumbled upon this video. Foxfy, you don't need to be rooted. This is a Wi-Fi tether where you can tether off your Wi-Fi from your phone to your laptop or any other device. You don't need to be rooted and it doesn't charge you a thing from your carrier. So just a heads up, Foxfy is pretty good. It works just like Wi-Fi tether, but Wi-Fi tether, you need to be rooted. So like, um, that's pretty much it. So as always, you guys, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, any questions, just throw me a comment down below or hit me up on Facebook, Google, or Twitter. And, um, oh, and so far, I'll give you an update on the, just on the giveaway. Uh, so far, I have two names down, and uh, we're slowly but surely getting closer to 30. Right now, I think I announced the giveaway at 14 or something. So now we're at 19 subscribers. So uh, once again, thanks for the support, you guys. I really do appreciate it. And um, I will be doing a video on as soon as we hit 30, so keep an eye out. As soon as we hit 30, subscribers where I'm, I'm gonna do a video for the giveaway so just make sure when you subscribe or if you haven't done yet make sure you click on that um notification so i can let you guys know when my videos come up or you can just go ahead and go on the facebook google or or google plus and twitter and then i'll keep keep you updated there so um okay guys that's pretty much it so take it easy